Today we have the Gep RC Tiny Go 4K bundle. It comes in a big box, includes everything needed for your first FPV experience. Let us see what all it has and if it is really ready to fly out of the box. Everything comes neatly packed in a grey coloured shoulder bag which has the Gep RC logo in blue. In the bag, we have the FPV goggles, the Tiny Go quadcopter itself, and the radio transmitter controller. There are antenna for the goggles and required cables in a pouch. A camera control remote, the user manual and some stickers, 4 1S slippers, and a USB charger. Looking at the radio controller, it looks small but looks well built. It has nice looking red control sticks. Starting from the left, the switches are marked as lock and unlock. I believe this is for arming and disarming. A mode switch to toggle between normal, buzzer and crash flip mode. And the extreme right switch is for flight modes labelled acro, horizon and angle. There is a three-way switch to switch between multiple models. Basically, you can add two more models to this particular controller and an on and off switch between the two antennas. On the back of the controller, we have the battery bay. There is a bind button function and an extra button for which there is no function defined in the product manual. It takes four AA batteries. It would have been great if they had built in a rechargeable battery, but this completely works. Next, we take a look at the goggles. These look good in grey, very good build quality and they've got a groove on the top with a space for ports. This can be challenging, a dedicated record button to directly record your DVR, a very straightforward menu and channel and band button are on the right side of your goggles and the power menu and the scan button is on the left side. Overall the finish is neat, the front padding is soft and it's comfortable to wear on the face. Now let's look at the Tiny Go itself. It's a 79mm frame. It comes sealed in a shrink wrap plastic like you can see. Very neat finish, very organized build. The video transmitter coming out of the canopy via a mounting hole will definitely stay in place and safely away from the propellers. It's been mounted with zip ties and looks really nice. It's not at all wobbly. It is things like these that make me happy and also show how much thought the manufacturers have invested about the end user experience. Good one Gep RC. The Tiny Go comes with 40mm gem fan propellers. It's a black frame with black foam pad all around the frame. It comes with Gep RC 1102 10,000 kV brushless motors. The flight controller is also of Gep RC's. It's a 12 ampere flight controller with Beta Flight OSD. It's a 25 to 200 milliwatt video transmitter, a battery bay that can accommodate two 1S lipos. The four lipos included are 1S 530 milliampere 4.35 high voltage lipos with a USB charger to charge all four together.
The bundle also includes a very important part, the camera control joystick board. It connects to the OSD port cable on the camera and you can change the camera and recording settings for the 4K camera. Now coming back to the goggles, there are two stick antennas, a video cable and a micro USB cable in the pouch. The antennas fit nice and snug on top. Now earlier in the video we mentioned some challenges about the top groove on the goggles. This section has all the ports for video, micro USB and the micro SD card slot and it can get difficult for straight cables. The cables will either tend to break or put too much pressure on the ports. Ideally, angle cables should have been provided. This gap does not have enough space for the cables to fit in nicely without bending. It can add a bit of pressure. Maybe this could have been a design oversight, we wouldn't know, or just wrong cables included. But overall, good design and feel, no complaints. The bundle also includes extra propellers, zip ties, a screwdriver along with spare screws and also a battery strap which is mostly not needed because of the battery bay at the bottom. The traditional blue and black GEPRC stickers and separate manuals for the radio controller and goggles. All in all, this is a great bundle which you can start flying right out of the box. Literally. You will just need to charge the batteries and bind the tiny go to the controller. Okay, enough chatter, action time. Let's see how it goes. We'll switch on the controller with the bind button pressed. We'll soon see a white LED in the front that starts flashing. Let's plug in the battery with the bind button pressed on the receiver. Wow, this binds in a breeze. Arm the quadcopter or look at the unlock symbol to arm it. Check the switches to see if you're on the right mode before you fly and just go fly. We have included a bit of flight footage to show you the camera quality and the FPV feed at the end. Overall, this is a great bundle to start off with.